And I am done with Dancer's Lament from Ian C. Esselmont. Um, I uh, really like this book. I give it a four out of five stars. It's not perfect, but uh, very good. Um, I'm an enormous fan of Malazan. It's my favorite series of all time. And in large part because of the Stephen Erickson um, Book of the Fallen. But I, I have liked um, a number of Ian C. Esselmont's um, inclusions into this series. Uh, and one of them I gave a five out of five stars to in, in multiple uh, four out of fives. I didn't think I'd like this book though. And the, the reason I didn't think this was because um, the last couple of Esselmont's books that he wrote in the previous series that he wrote, the novels of the Malice and Empire, I think it's called, uh, I didn't love them. And I kind of felt like he was going uh, down and down in quality. And when I heard about what this book was about, you know, it's it's not exactly a prequel, but it's essentially a prequel. Um, you know, it's the first books in this series that have gone before uh, Book of the Fallen. And it follows two of the main characters. I mean, there's like a million characters in Malazan. But two of the really core um, core figures of, um, you know, the, you know, Dancer and Kellenved and... You know, I don't like prequels in general. I, I don't remember the last time that I actually liked a prequel series. And I read, you know, some reviews on this that, that weren't so hot. But, you know, I thought this book was tight. I thought it had a good plot. It, it didn't get too convoluted. Um, Malazan does have convoluted plots, and I don't mind that when there's kind of this um, really good writing and awesome sequences, great characters, and it all comes together at the end. And some of those Ian C. S. One books haven't had all of those components of them. Um, this one really just followed uh, a few characters. There was only a few arcs. Probably the smallest cast of characters in any Malazan book. Uh, maybe Witness, um, the the last uh, Erickson book that that he put out, might have had a smaller list. But this one was a pretty pretty tight list, and it really didn't jump around. It it stayed in one city the entire book. And, you know, the plot was pretty, pretty narrow. It didn't get huge. Um, the, the sequences weren't, you know, super epic in scale. And I knocked books usually for that. I mean, it's ultimately what I knocked uh, the five out of five score from this. It didn't have that epic nature to it. The, this enormous convergence of events that the other books all pretty much have. But I did like the story. I, I liked hearing about these two main characters and in hearing about their journey, I feel like it'll give me a, a bigger appreciation for the rest of the books when I go back and do a reread. Uh, you know, these characters are very uh, mysterious when, when you're first reading this series. And so, you know, learning more about their backstory, what makes them tick, and, and how they got to be where they're at is exciting to me. This book didn't, you know, end in a huge progression. It didn't get to them to the point that they're at. Clearly, it's going to need a lot of books to get to that point because this was really just scratching the surface of who these characters are uh, and where they're going. And I and I liked that it didn't try to take on too much. Uh, I almost kind of feel like it did a little bit more. Uh, by the end of the book, you're kind of like hoping that they're going to succeed in what they're going for. And ultimately, the characters kind of fail in what they're going for, but it develops that a little bit as characters. So... You know, I did like this book. I am interested in the series. I'm definitely going to keep going. I think I would have kept going even if I didn't like it because I'm such a big fan of uh, Malazan. But, you know, I'm definitely excited to read the next book. Uh, I have heard some negative things about the last couple of books in this series. Uh, you know, especially negative. And, you know, I'm hoping that I don't feel the same way. Uh, so... You know, here's to, to the next one. And if you're a Malazan fan, I think you will probably enjoy this book. If you are not a Malazan fan, I don't know what you're doing. This is not the book to start with. This is really for those that have read, you know, all the rest of the books. So if that's you, pick this book up. I don't think you're going to be disappointed if you feel it all kind of the same way as I did. So that's my review.